Hello there everyone, this is Epic 3D Builds here, and in today's video, I'd like to show you guys my Minecraft Creeper that I made. When I was trying to make this video, I was looking for mobs to make next, and then I decided to make the most iconic mob of all, the Creeper, because the Creeper is Minecraft's mascot. Did you know that the Creeper was originally supposed to be a pig? but Notch got his height and whip value mixed up and then he got a mob which looks like this which turned into the creeper it was quite challenging trying to figure out the mechanism for the creeper's legs because in the game they're actually diagonal to each other and don't touch so I decided to put a, a cylindrical joint in with a lego axle to hold it together and it turned out quite well it is quite thin and doesn't snap and the legs can move freely for the head i used the same lego pin design as the other models and i, th I think it turned out quite well now to move on to me talking about the creeper in fusion as you can see this is the creeper that I made in fusion um, I'm quite happy how it turned out and I think it looks quite accurate to the in-game model as you can see the legs of the creeper can move on that little joint that I made I mentioned earlier it can go all the way up and down and all the legs can move independent to each other. Now it's time to see the history of me making the creeper. So first I found a few reference images to base the model off. And you can see that picture of the creeper there, side view. Now I've made the basic boxes of the legs, and body and head. I've, in I've inserted a lego axle that I've made, I've imprinted on its face, and I'm making the joints. This took quite a long time to perfectly make sure that the joints don't catch on each other and that the legs have free movement for the creeper. Now I'm just copying and pasting the joint from the other side of the creeper to the front side. I also made a leg and now I'm putting the pixels on the feet of the creeper. At first I extruded out of the foot for the pixels but then later decided to extrude inwards into the foot. So it will be easier for me to print it especially for the front legs as you would see later and now i finished the creeper and i think it looks quite good uh you guys tell me how it looks in the comments down below and also like and subscribe if you like the content that you're seeing now let's move on to the bamboo studio slicer so as you guys can see this is the Bamboo Studio Slicer, which I can use to slice my models. You might be wondering why I'm using this. Well, it's because I recently got a Bamboo X1 Carbon, which is an upgrade over my Flashboard Defender 3. With this new printer, I can do a range of new stuff, such as print at a larger volume, the Bamboo X1 Carbon being 25.6, centimeters by 25.6 centimeters by 25.6 centimeters um, you can also print with multicolor because of the AMS that you can buy as well uh, so this means that I don't need to paint my models anymore because now I can just color them in certain areas where I want a different color to be so as you can see I have the creeper limbs around where I want to print on the different base plates here are the creeper's legs, 
and you can see the pixels are black and that's because I painted them that way using the Bamboo uh, Studios different tools. Um, as you can see at the left here we have the different filaments which are currently in the AMS. We can choose to be now I'm going to show you how to actually paint the model. You just go on that little paint tool and just click it and the Bamboo Studio recognizes that and for the printing file we'll make sure to include that color there when you go into preview and send it to the printer. And I really like the Bamboo software and I think it's very advanced and convenient to use. And now I'm going to show you the time lapses I recorded when printing the Creeper on my new Bamboo X1 Carbon. Thank you guys for watching the video until the end and remember when I reach 1000 subscribers I'll release my 3D printer files to the community. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.